Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on body masking. Here you're going to learn how to isolate different parts of the body while performing puppeteering motions to create your own unique animations. We'll start off with the pose found in the motion section. Here our character seems to be leaning against the wall. If I open the puppeteering panel and apply a preset motion to my character, the whole pose will be overwritten by the puppeteering motion. To avoid this, I'll go into the masking panel in my puppeteering window. If I select the refresh button on the bottom right, that will deselect all the body parts. I can select different parts which I want to unmask by clicking on them. Parts that are not masked will be shown in yellow. This means they will follow the preset puppeteering animation and not the pose command. All other parts will remain stationary. I can do the same thing with another puppeteering motion. If I unmask the same section, I'll get a slightly different result. If I click record, I can record my motion and use the mouse control to make it a bit more random instead of a repeating motion. The next step I'll do is to apply a facial animation to give our character's mouth some movement. Here's the end result. You can layer base motions over each other as well. Here you can see the character doing a begging motion. You can change this by going back to frame 1 and selecting another motion template called Bluff. If I go into the masking panel and unmask his arms, you can see that the animations will combine into one single unique one. If I go into body part motions, I can get even more detailed animations. I'll start the animation over at frame 1 again, and this time I'll also apply a head motion. Again, I'm using the mouse control to get a more random and detailed animation. Now when I record, I have a slight head movement as well. Again, the last thing I'll do is add in another facial motion to make my customized motion complete. Pretty easy, right? By creatively making use of the puppeteering panel, you can save hours of keyframe animation work and still get good quality animation. 